D-S-L-R Film. Noob. All right, guys, what I've got for you today is a Ceramonic SR-AX107 audio adapter. This is a dual channel XLR audio adapter from China. This guy runs about 200 bucks and has a lot of interesting features, including phantom power, headphone amp, and AGC disable built in. In fact, the features look very similar to what you get out of a Beach Tech unit or a Juice Link unit or any of the other sort of audio XLR adapters on the market. The features aren't the key thing here. Actually, the prices, the Ceramonic SR-AX107 is in a $200 XLR audio adapter. Now compare that to some of its closer competitors like the DXA SLR from Beach Tech. This guy's about $349. You can sometimes find it on sale for $299. So it's $100 to $150. $50 more than this and these are pretty similar in feature set in fact the Ceramonic SR-AX107 kind of exceeds a little bit by providing audio level meters as well as peaking meters and a bunch of mounting options like these guys right here so let's take a closer look at the Ceramonic SR-AX107 audio adapter. It's pretty easy to find your way around the front of the unit. You've got volume controls as well as your output for your camera. There's phantom power for both the left and right channels and a headphone port if you're using the monitor feature. You can also monitor audio being recorded directly through the device. You've got mono and stereo settings as well as your AGC controls here. Just remember to leave that in the on position and not the off position or you'll have an AG signal out. Your power switch and your peaking switches are over here on the right hand side and on the back we've got a 9 volt battery as well as two XLR inputs. All right, guys, I'm out here with the Ceramonic SR-AX107. I've got it plugged directly into my Panasonic GH4. I'm recording audio with my trusty Audio-Technica 4073 at about three and a half feet away. I've got channel one, the left channel, set to high gain and channel two set to the low gain. I've got the channel one cranked up to about quarter and I've got channel two set up to three quarter so you can hear the difference between the audio. I'm out in nature so there's people wandering around. I've got the shorefront behind me, uh, boats floating by and birds and all that stuff so you can kind of get an idea of what the audio from the Ceramonic SR-AX107 sounds like. When the Ceramonic SR-AX107 is mounted to a camera like this 6D body I have right here, you can see that it's rather large. This thing's roughly the size of a big battery grip for a DSLR. That means that you have no access to your battery compartment on the bottom of your camera. That's fine for short shoots. If you're shooting less than an hour, it's probably not a big deal, but if you're gonna go any longer than that, you're gonna have to unmount your camera from the XLR audio adapter, get the battery changed, and then mount it again. So if you're gonna use this long-term, you might wanna mount it to some sort of bracket or something like that off camera in order to allow access to your battery compartment. All right guys, for this test, I've got my trusty Sennheiser G2 unit with the standard lav mic plugged directly into the Ceramonic SR-AX107. I've got an XLR splitter with both the left and the right channel being fed via the receiver. And I've got the gain switches set to low on both the left and the right channel. From there, it goes from the output to the Panasonic GH4 for audio being recorded directly into the camera. You can get an idea of what this sounds like, again, out in nature, waves, all that stuff going on right now. So you can kind of hear everything that's going on around me. While I am disappointed with the size of the Ceramonic SR-AX107, I am pretty happy with some of the choices that they've made in the design process. Having the adapters on the outside, these cold shoe adapters, makes it pretty nice for mounting stuff. They've used nice big knobs that are easy to adjust and all the switches are labeled fairly clearly so that you know what's going on. Also, they have the XLR outputs on the back so you can bring your audio in where you need to from the front of the camera as opposed to off to the side or whatever. All right, for this test, I've got the Rode Procaster plugged directly into the Ceramonic SR-AX107, and I'm using that to feed the Panasonic GH4. Right now, I am basically halfway up the gain scale on the Ceramonic SR-AX107, so let's be quiet real quick and crank that all the way up. And crank it down. And as you can see and hear, the Ceramonic SR-AX107 has very little self-noise at full gain levels of 20 dB. Not bad for a $200 XLR audio adapter.
After spending some time with the Ceramonic SR AX107, I can safely say it is a pretty good value option. This guy is $200 compared to three or $400 for its other competitors. That's where this really shines. It has pretty much the same features that you get in any of those other units. Audio quality is about the same, so you're not gonna really notice any big difference in audio quality between this or any of the other XLR audio adapters on the market, but the price really sets it apart from the rest. On that note though, your trade-off here is price and value versus size because this guy is much, much bigger than most of its competitors. Uh, you save money, but you do get a bulkier unit. So keep that in mind if you're trying to scale down your rig to something real small. I would like to see a few things upgraded on this. Uh, a number of people have asked about possibly going from a nine volt battery input instead using maybe four AA batteries because those are more common. Also, I wouldn't mind seeing some 3.5 millimeter inputs as well as maybe some combo jacks for these XLR units like you see on the Zoom H4N, which allows you to plug in a quarter inch plug or an XLR input. That would make this a lot more versatile for bringing in multiple sources from different things. You know, maybe if you have a musician or something like that that you're working with. On the front side here, there is a GC disable on this, but that's something that isn't really needed very much with newer cameras. So if that's a feature you're really searching after with the Ceramonic SR AX107, then you might want to consider it. But if you don't need that feature, it's kind of just an extra waste of space on the front panel. Uh, AGC disable, for most newer cameras, you can just go to the menus and turn off AGC and you don't have to worry about automatic gain control. So I don't know if that's really a pertinent feature that will make this attractive to many people, but it is on there if you need it. As far as the XLR audio level meters and stuff like that go, a lot of units in the past have tried to add those. These are just about as accurate as any of those other ones. They kind of show you that you got audio coming into a channel, but they don't really represent what's being recorded in the camera so keep that in mind if you're using these as a reference uh, with the peak that is nice to have because if you peek out the inputs on this unit you will see peaking lights here so you know that your signal is getting distorted before it gets to your camera so that is a nice plus on this guy Overall, for 200 bucks, this is definitely something to consider as long as you can put up with the size. The Ceramonic SR AX107 is the first from Ceramonic's line of XLR audio adapters, and they seem to be releasing more and more as they move along. So hopefully some of these upgrades I've talked about will get implemented into this as they move forward. Anyway, it's a great first product for an XLR audio adapter that is just hitting the market. You might wanna check out more over at dslrfilmnoob.com. I'll have a full write up on this. You can also follow me on Twitter. You can swing over to Facebook and watch updates there. You can also listen to the new podcast. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, you know, you should click one of the buttons down below. I'll talk to you next time. Still homeless. That's why I'm filming in a park. Talk to you next time. 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 Talk to you next time.